Hello, everybody. My name is Evan with Scott Leroy Marketing. Today, we're going to be going over how you can add or edit a single contact inside of your command database. So first, we're going to start off by going to our agent.kw.com. And this is going to be our command login page. So we're going to go ahead and enter your KW username and password. Keep in mind, your KW username is not case sensitive, but your password is. So be sure that if you see any capitals, if there's any capitals in it, you make sure that's capitalized and do not include a space before or after. If you want to make sure you know what you're typing, you can always click on this little eyeball and it will display your password for you. And we're going to go ahead and click sign in. And then we're going to go ahead and click on our um, widget over here on the left hand side that says contacts. It will be the second one down right underneath the home one. So starting off with adding a single contact. Now, if you have multiple contacts you um, need added and you have it on a file, feel free to send it to us, support at scottleroymarketing.com. We would be more than happy to get that uploaded for you. Um, but just if you just have one or two you want to add in, um, you know, singularly, you can click on add contact. And this is going to bring up the screen where you can start adding your contact information. Now, I do want to let you know that in order to add a contact, the only thing that it requires you to have is a, um, a name, um, as you can see by the little asterisk here. Everything else is completely up to you what you input. So we always say the more information, the better. Um, so for today, we're going to go ahead and put in um, Joe Schmo. That's going to be our um, test contact for today. You can add relationships, um, all different kinds of options for relationships. Primary email. Um, we're going to just put test at test dot com you can add your phone number here scrolling down your lead source type um you can either set select it from a list if it's from you received it from like a an outside source or you can do select from contact if say this was a referral from one of your contacts um you can select that here you can also mark it as a lead um that is going to mark it as a lead in your database and then tags. Right here, we have our tag option. Tag is a way that it groups your contacts together for great little things such as sending out campaigns um, or setting up setting up your contacts on a smart plan. Um, so if you have a bunch of contacts who say you're big into football and they're a bunch of Florida Gators fan, um, you can create a tag. Um, you can just do... FL Gators, and it's going to prompt you to create custom tag. If you've already created this tag before prior, you can go ahead and um, it'll pop up here and you'll be able to select that from the list. We're going to go ahead and add more information. And then you can click additional contact information. You're able to, um, to input the preferred method of contact. Um, such as you know, email, phone, text, or do not contact. Um, you have additional email, additional phone number, and this is where you can put their address. Um, and then your social profiles can be added down here. Under about, you can add legal name, descriptions, birthday. Birthdays and home anniversaries are great ones for some of the smart plans, along with the address. Um, which is going to give you a lot of great options into setting up on smart plans. So highly suggest if you can get that information, making sure you add that in here. And then there's also this um, custom um, tab at the bottom where you can add any area of interest, favorite pie, kids names, price point, things like that. And you can also add a custom field. Um, adding a custom field, you can um, basically select different, different things once you are finished with everything, you're just going to want to go ahead and click create. And it's going to let you know that you have created this contact. It's going to take you straight into the contact card. Now, we're going to go back to contacts. 
All right, and if we wanted to edit a contact, um, say, you know, one of your clients changed their phone numbers and they've reached out to you and you want to just make sure that you went ahead and have that information updated. We're going to go ahead and Joe Schmo. You see here, there, I, there was a different Joe Schmo in our database already. Um, this phone number here, we're going to go ahead and click on edit. And it's going to pull up that same style contact information where we just input before. And then we're just going to edit the information here. And then once we have updated the information, we're going to click save. Now this information has went ahead and updated over here for you. Keep in mind any information you update, um, say if you have a smart plan campaign set up, you always want to make sure that you just remove them from that first and you can always add them back after. All right, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to send us an email support at scottleroymarketing.com. We'd be more than happy to assist you. Uh, you have a wonderful day. We look forward to hearing from you.